Okay, I owe you an apology for this one. I recorded this mission only to then notice I'd recorded audio only. I'd do it again, but the thing is, this mission is very long and boring, so I've decided to just record the major story beats and move on. Sorry. It has been a thousand years since I last looked upon you, Tyrande. I thought of you every moment I roamed through the Emerald Dream. My heart rejoices to see you again, my love. But I would not have awakened you unless the need was urgent. In the dream, I felt our land being corrupted, just as if it were my own body. You were right to awaken me. The Burning Legion has returned. Cenarius is dead, and Outlanders roam freely through our most sacred vales. As was foretold. No doubt Archimond will make his way to Hyjal Summit and attack the World Tree. If he succeeds in draining the tree's energies, this world will be doomed. My only thought was to awaken you and the rest of the Druids. The Druids of the Talon reside within the Barrow Dens at the end of this valley. If we can reach them, we may have a chance to stop Archimond and his demons. That did it, boys! We've driven them off! Let's regroup back at the base and tend to our wounded. So, the Outlanders battle against the undead as well. They could prove to be powerful allies against Archimond and his ilk. They are mongrels and nothing more. They are responsible for Cenarius' death. I will be damned before I stand with them. Perhaps you are right, my love. We will establish our new settlement here. Keep your sentries alert. I doubt that we have seen the last of the Outlanders or the undead. Our sacred our grove is being desecrated. The enemy. So what I tried to do next was go back to the moment I completed the bonus objective, which is to defeat the chief of a Furbolg tribe who have gone mad so from Fell. In fact, it's the tribe we helped rescue in mission one to try and listen to the dialogue that plays after it. I couldn't get it, but the gist is that Malfurion says something like, You seem far less merciful than you were when I saw you last. And Tyrande says, That's because I don't have the luxury of sleeping through every major world disaster. And Malfurion says, Yes, dear, because Malfurion is a cuck. Is there trouble? Okay, and at the very least, I figured I could replay the final battle of the mission for you. So the way this mission has been laid out is that it was, um a super low econ mission, all of the gold mines in the mission only had like between 1,000 to 2,000 gold in them, so you had to entangle them with your tree, and then once it was done, pick up roots and move somewhere else. Um, it was not a particularly interesting mission though, because like, th there's no time pressure and there's no like danger pressure either, the enemy only ever attacks you with three or four units at a time. You start with two ancient protectors, I simply added a third ancient protector, and they were able to defend against every enemy attack that ever happened on their own without any need of reinforcements or anything like that. So this was just a very slow slog from the left side of the map to the right, and now we get here this final like corrupted wood, it's full of satyrs, satyrs being night elves who ten, well former night elves, who 10,000 years ago pledged allegiance to uh, the Burning Legion, and uh, yeah, they're, they're out here causing shenanigans, and we're out here saying no, none of that. So I did kind of overbuild for this final attack. like. It's a little lame and cheesy to just sort of sit back and do nothing until you have a massive force to move in. But as I learned from that last mission where I did try to attack the orc base when I felt was honourable rather than when it would just be a stump, um, it's just not worth it. Like you, you get ground down, your reinforcements can't come fast enough, it's a mess. So yeah, might as well just build up a death ball, roll in, and get this all sorted. So again, I'm sorry about this very scuffed, very short video, but you weren't really missing much. I would have cut most of it anyway. I didn't fail at any point. There was no need to, um, no need to uh, restart and edit out footage. I was just going to edit footage away purely for it being really, really boring. So consider this the purest possible experience. Anyway, let's now get back to normal on the next mission. Come forth, druids of the Talon. Let the Stormcrows fly once again upon the winds of war. 
Ishnu Allah, my brethren. Kalimdor has need of your powers once again, for the hour of doom is at hand. We are yours to command, Shundo Stormrage. Now we must delve into the earth and rouse the ferocious druids of the Claw from their slumber. <laughs> <laughs> 